Chiffon lo Loafer called Juliet Coast, and this is beautiful. So I said at the beginning, I don't know if you heard me, Amy, this reminds me of the Timeless, which yes. is a shoe that I owned um, in many, many colors. Um, yes, I remember very well. You and did. you even took a little risk with some of that snake Print. I you did. really did. Mm -hmm. So amazing. Yeah, I typically <laughs> do, I typically go with a little bit more neutral shoe because I, like I said, have really big feet and I try not to draw attention to them. But with this style, this is one that, that is as classic as you could want. But we do have some prints and colors that make it that fashion piece. Now, what you need to know about this is we're offering this with advanced orders. Now they will ship on uh, August 17th, in order to make sure you get your size and color, you need to put your name on the list and then when it becomes available to ship, you'll be billed at that time. This is your leather, yellow leather. Down in front, we have the black leopard. So the leopard is only on the top, which is nice because not everybody wants mm -hmm. a full leopard shoe, Amy. So this gives us just a little pop of that leopard. This is the taupe snake and the timeless that I had is one of the colors that I did have in the timeless. Um, here is the black leather. We have it in burgundy, which has a nice uh, textured upper right here on the top. And the same is true with the leather in the navy as well. That really pretty treatment adds a little visual texture and a little, mm -hmm. a little uh, color change. Medium five through size 10 whole and half sizes 11 and 12 wide with six through size 10 whole and half sizes 11 and 12. So walk us through the updates to the Juliet Coast. Yes. So we really did update the Juliet with modern finishes. So that yellow, oh my gosh, let me tell you, QDC is one of the only places you're going to find a yellow in the Juliet. And I think this is such a pretty marigold, but it also shows off how a classic loafer with that very feminine tapered toe shape, the, you know, penny keeper inspired detail. Those are all classic, but when you add the color and when you add the comfort, that's when you make it fresh and new. So mm -hmm. you have that ultimate comfort foot bed. So it's going to feel amazing right when you step in. It's strategic padding right where you need it the most. But for me with the Juliet, I love that it's a one inch heel and it has rubber and grip on the outsole because especially this time of year, my mom always bought us loafers right. and I am, as we all know, prone to accidents, uh, to say it nicely, <laughs> Dane calls me calamity Amy. Um, but I remember vividly how slippery those loafers were and you really did have to stuff them on the driveway and break them in. What we did at Clark's is we took that step completely out and we made it feel good and fit good right away. I think of the teachers going back to school. Um, a lot of schools in our area are open. I think about people who just need a classic shoe, but also want to feel feminine. And that's where the Juliet comes in. Right. I think about my friend, um, Linda, who is a real estate agent and the fact that, yeah. you know, she's got to look professional. She's still showing homes, but you can't wear sneakers. And yet you're climbing in attics and going through crawl spaces and basements right. and doing all that <laughs> stuff. So you kind of need that good shoe that's going to keep you grounded when you're touring the inner or outers of a property. And I wanted to show that um, footbed as you were talking about it, Amy, this is the part you were referring to. Mm -hmm. Instead of having to scuff that leather like you used to, this is all done in a textured rubber so there's some nice yeah. grip um, and you don't have to worry about slipping and sliding. And then you do have that nice stacked heel detail that's mm -hmm. just enough lift. Um, you know, a lot of gals, I hear people say that they can't walk in a completely flat shoe. So this is that lift, but it's it's going to, for the most part, wear um, just like a comfortable flat wood. Um, and the shape of the toe is a little bit more squared off. Plenty of room in the toe box for your toes to wiggle and um, not have to worry about the pinching sensation that happens so often. Often. And again, when you look at a shoe like this at $73.48, uh, 
what can you not wear this with? I mean, we're talking right. skirts, we're talking crop pants right now, or jeans like Sheila is wearing. We're talking wearing this a little bit more dressy, putting it on with that uh, little skirt or maxi at this point. So there's a lot of ways to wear this type of shoe, and that's never going to change. Comfort is the most important thing, and a lot of times I start getting dressed from the feet up. I decide yeah. what my shoe is, and then I put the outfit on around it. So a lot of folks are picking up more than one color here, and I encourage you to do so. If you love that yellow leather that Sheila is wearing, please don't hesitate. Um, we have it in the black leopard, the snake, which is also kind of fun and funky, a little add a little pop and sizzle to your footwear collection. If you need a classic black, we've got you covered there. That's been the most popular actually so far in the show. And then the other two fashion colors are the burgundy and that navy leather. So medium and wide widths, ultimate comfort, ultimate support. Try them if you have not already done so. And what magazine are you not opening right now and not seeing loafers? Loafers are huge yeah. or slides, which is basically a loafer without the heel counter. That whole look in the, with the loafer gives us a little bit more stability. And I, I do love a good slide. Trust me, I have quite a few of them, but they are harder to keep on your feet. This gives you the it's look. True. It, you get that look, Amy, but then you have mm -hmm. that full heel um, to cover and to keep your foot supported. And I think any age, any, you know, fashion sensibility, like you were saying, wear the yellow with like um, a cuff jean, even a loose fitting jean, a boyfriend jean, and a fun little um, red top or a black and white striped top. Wear that now as we are still in summer. And then when fall comes, please wear my favorite look is mm -hmm. pairing everything with tights. I love loafers with tights and dresses. I love anything with a tight dress. So I think this is very, very on trend, mm -hmm. but it's also a classic. So maybe you're not necessarily as busy this fall as you are next year, but this is never going to go out of style. And it's that look that you're, when you go into your closet and you're like, no, nah, I'd love to just wear slacks and a loafer and a button down shirt. Sometimes you don't have it. Now's the opportunity to get it, but look how great Rebecca is. I'm wearing the classic black with a really beautiful legging. She's comfortable. And instead of, you know, wearing the athleisure look, which uh, trust me, I mean, that we're all wearing that right now. There's something to be said on how you feel when you put in just a tad more effort. Mm -hmm. It really does elevate your mood. Right. And again, we encourage you to do it here right now. Put your name on the list for the advanced orders that will ship out in just a couple of weeks, August 17th. Yeah. Um, and that way you're guaranteed to get that fun look. All right, now still to come in the show, this is a classic of 